this weekend, the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, a month of fasting and prayer, came to an end with the celebration today of Eid al-Fitr. This Eid is the festival of breaking the fast, and so after Eid prayers are said would ordinarily involve large communal gatherings and celebrations with the sharing of scrumptious food. I'm reminded of a happy year my wife and I spent in Tunisia around a decade ago, and the trips we made to Syria, Lebanon, and to Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. Each place seemed to have not only national but regional sweets and cakes, halouillette, all of which were dangerously delicious. I'm sure there'll be plenty of halouillette consumed today, and I wonder if anyone knows the best source of baklava in Cambridge. Muslim friends tell me that fasting during Ramadan can be as much rewarding as it is challenging. There's something special about choosing a different pattern of life, creating more space and focus, including time for prayer. As I experienced last year as a guest at the Cambridge Central Mosque Iftar, there is also joy to be had in the sharing of the daily sunset meals with family and friends. Having said this, I hope it's not too much of a leap to see the end of fasting as a kind of easing of the lockdown. If the parallel holds, I'm especially interested in the lessons we could all learn from something which happens towards the end of Ramadan. This is the practice of Zakat al-Fitr, which is a donation for the poor that every adult Muslim, with food in excess of their needs, should give before Eid al-Fitr prayers. As we think about life after lockdown, the practice of Zakat al-Fitr is suggestive to me of the need to make a priority of the needs of the poor as we reconstitute a normal pattern of life. Change is coming. With all the upheaval caused by the global pandemic and an expectation of economic hardships to come, what are the questions we should be asking about the structuring of society in the emerging new normal? How can we promote a social and economic settlement that gives all people, especially those whose lives are most precarious, dignity and opportunity. Just as Zakat al-Fitr is given before the fasting of Ramadan is over, what can be done now, during the lockdown, to consider the needs of the poor and vulnerable? Of course, Eid will be different this year, with gatherings limited to household groups and with other creative, physically distanced celebrations. Nonetheless, I wish all those who are celebrating the festival 